Hi, this is Dr. Greg Oliver, and hello again from Fat Doctor TV. Uh, today we're going to talk about a little exercise, except we're not going to talk about a little exercise, we're going to talk about over-exercise. Um, when people get excited about losing weight and getting healthy, a lot of times what they'll do is start on an exercise program or use some protocol. Now, there are some uh, uh, trendy exercise programs out there, uh, boot camps and uh, um, very aggressive type exercises. And what we find is that if you're looking to lose weight, get healthy, get fit, uh, many people will tend to over-exercise up front. Now, when someone is exercising, the primary purpose for it is to burn extra calories, increase muscle tone so that their metabolism goes up, and also just to get a general increase in their cardiovascular fitness and, and body shaping. So exercise is very important for that. Also, long-term exercise helps to maintain a lower body weight. The problem is many people jump into it very quickly. They don't uh, gradually build up their exercise and they injure themselves. In many cases, they'll hurt their muscles. Now, in order to build a muscle, you have to exercise. But muscle doesn't build during the exercise period. So if you, if you exercise for an hour, during that hour, muscle isn't being built. Muscle's actually being broken down slightly. The muscle fibers will tear, the muscle fibers will stretch and overstretch, and then in the recovery phase of exercise, which can take up to two to three days, the muscle heals itself and builds itself stronger, makes itself less fatty, and makes itself a, a, a much leaner, healthier, fitter muscle. So, if we exercise the same muscle groups on a daily basis, we tend not to allow adequate recovery, and then we don't get the muscle building that we want. Uh, so, it's important to rotate exercises. Always include a little bit of cardiovascular just to get the warm-up going, get your heart rate going, get your heart rate up, say 20 to 30 minutes, and then if you're going to use resistance training or weightlifting, you'll want to do that alternating days or maybe every third day. And when you do alternating days, you'll want to do different muscle groups, okay? So you may do upper body one day, lower body another day, or just different types of exercises focus, focusing on different muscle groups. That way you give yourself, you give your body and your muscles time to recover and to build themselves up. So that's a critical point. What I've found is that a lot of patients come in to my office, and let me break this down into women and men because we tend to exercise a little differently. But women will come in my office, they'll start an aggressive cardiovascular or aerobic training program or maybe a class, and they're also wanting to lose the weight. That's their primary reason that they want to start exercising. And what they tell me is, I was on this exercise program for two weeks and I gained weight. That's very common. Two reasons. Number one, they started out too aggressively all right, so they started to build some muscle pretty quickly, and muscle tissue is a little denser than fat tissue, so there is some weight gain. Their body, because they had muscle injury during that aggressive weight program, held on to some fluid to try and help heal those muscles. And the other thing that happens when you aggressively exercise uh, very quickly, you're going to find that your appetite goes up. You're more hungry, and therefore you're going to be eating more. So after a couple of weeks, most women stop. They say, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. The other thing that happens with men is men go back to their sports days when they played uh, football or rugby or, or some sport uh, cross country in high school or, or college where they were doing two to six hours of training a day or maybe two a day trainings and they're now they're 35, 40, 45, 50 years old and they say I'm going to do two a days, so I'm going to do four hours a day and they're just over exercising. They hurt themselves, they injure themselves, they strain themselves. Um, they, they increase their appetite and they just really kind of get out two to four weeks and say, I can't tolerate this anymore. The key to this whole process, what I'm talking about here, is not to over-exercise, but to gradually build up and exercise on a modest basis over time. And if you're doing this in conjunction with a lower calorie or calorie restricted diet that you're going to be trying to lose weight with, then you want to modify your exercise. So you don't want to go on a strict diet and dramatic exercise at the same time, what you'll find is you just can't sustain that. So I recommend starting out very slowly, walking program, uh, increase your speed or your intensity on a regular basis, something like that. And um, sorry about the phone there. Uh, so gradually building up and increasing uh, your exercise activity uh, so that you can match uh, your body's ability to sustain that.
So, no more over-exercising. If you have a question or a problem about this, get with a, uh, a trainer, get with a health coach, uh, get back to us here at Fat Doctor TV, and we'll kind of give you some recommendations for that. Love to hear from you. So, uh, be careful out there when you're over-exercising, because I don't want to see that. Get some nice, modest exercise. Now, once you're fit, once you're at your lean body weight, once you're doing really well, hey, sky's the limit with exercise. You'll be able to advance to some very intense exercise over time. So take care. We'll talk to you soon. This is Dr. Greg Oliver at Fat Doctor TV, and I'll go get that phone call. Have a great day.